Amen. You know, we appreciate Sister Murray and Heather today and that great song today. I also want to recognize Brother Robertson over in Russell Springs, Kentucky, and thank you for, you know, uh, his kindness. Also, it's, I think it's at 930 on Saturday that he has on WJLC, so tune him in. He's a great man, got some great singers over there, some great people. So we want to recognize him. And, you know, I thank God for the many people he sent her away. You know, Pastor Morgan helped us in the Church of God years back, Pastor Randall Lee. Uh, uh, Brother Damon Sizemore, you know, I appreciate great men that have been in my life. And, folks, we need, we need, some, we need some heroes today. And, you know, those people that are following these little songs says, Daddy, don't you walk so fast. Daddy, don't you walk so fast. Daddy, slow down some, you're making me run. Daddy, don't you walk so fast. So, you know, it's important that we... That we, you know, we shine a light. It's important that we hold the light, you know, for the next generation. And one day we'll be going to pass it down. Uh, uh, one of the last churches I helped, a young man was beginning to preach. I said, well, I would, would pass my anointing on to you, but I'm going to take mine with me. <laughs> but, you know, I believe he shares in the anointing I have. He's under my ministry for about seven years, six to seven years. So, you know, it's important that we hold the light up. And I, I want to read on, on uh, preach on standing firm. And I'm going to start way down in the, the, the sermon here. But we, uh, we need to, to stand firm today. And I've got some points I want to touch on. And, uh, and we want to read 1 Thessalonians 3 and 8. And Paul writing to Thessalonia. And he says, For now we live if we stand fast in the Lord. For now we live if we stand fast. And Matthew 10 and 22 says, But he that endures to the end, the same shall be saved. And Hebrews 12, 7 says, If you endure chastening, God abideth, God dealeth with you as with sons. The little thought, Satan may hinder, but he can't stop us. And folks, and you know, to Paul, he said, I would come, but Satan hindered, and then he hindered. And, 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 but the good news today that if we'll keep pressing on, you know, I was preaching the other day on, on falling, talking about all the different yards I'd fell in. But I always got back up, and that's what we've got to do. It says a good man, I must be a pretty good man, a good man will fall seven times, but yet he arrives. So, you know, but I, I'm trusting in God's strength and God's help. And, and, folks, we've got to have in us a getting up. You know, he's talking about a little boy, and his mom told him to sit down, and, and she kept getting on to him. And he said, I'll sit down, but I'm standing up on the inside. So we've got to have a stand up in us if we're going to do anything for God. Hebrews said, if you endure chastening, God deals with you as with sons. Endure chastening. And a little thought, God only, God only chastens those that he loves. You know, I was talking about mama uh, must love me a lot. <laughs> and uh, because we had carried a many a, a switching. But it's because she loved us. And folks, God will switch you if he loves you. If you're one of his kids and you get out, out away from him, there's a chastening coming. And, you know, and to Brother Down said he didn't want to ride in the car with a backslider. That might be the day God chose to chasten him. I mean, so, you know, it's important that we walk close to God. James 1 12 said, Blessed or happy is the man that endure temptation, for when he is tried, he shall receive a crown of life. The thought endure temptation. And also there's times that we need to run to, to Joseph. Uh, temptation come, and he, he ran off. He knew he wasn't strong enough to endure it. So he took off and ran. And there's times we need to run. James 5 and 11 said, Behold, we count them happy which endure. And you have heard of the patience of Job. And a little thought full of days and full of years. And, and, and the thought behind that is to make every day count. And what that means is to give your hugs, give your kisses, uh, give your flowers. Uh, make every day count for something. Don't let it pass you by. Uh, you know, tell your wife, uh, they talk about people uh, a little mama telling her kid, I love you. And I, I heard Miss Tina tell John over and over again, I love you. I love you. Just in a, within 30 minutes, I don't know the time. But now John, he says, Pappy, you know what? I love you. And then I heard him say, Mammy, he said, Mammy, you know what? I love you. So, you know, it, it's important that we tell our kids that we love them. And it'll give them a, a head start in life. It, it'll shoot them in the right direction. To have people in your life that love you really, really matters. Uh, in Galatians 6 and 9 says, And let, not, let us not be weary and well-doing, for in, in due season we shall reap if we faint not. 
God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and the power who went about doing good. I'm mighty through God and for God. To stand, and I wrote down a few points. Number one, to stand for truth. I stand for truth. The Word of God is true. We're serving a God that cannot lie. We're serving a God that cannot fail. Number one, God honors faithfulness. He said, if you abide in me and my words abide in you, you can ask what you will and it shall be done. You know, when, we, when we're praying the prayer of faith, and many times before I pray for people, I said, Lord, search my heart. If I've got sin, forgive me because sin, you can't pray the prayer of faith with sin in your life because there will be a, a condemnation, there will be guilt, there will be shame. But when we pray, and, and, and folks, we're, we're called to pray for a lot of folks. We're called sometimes late at night, early in the morning. But, you know, when, when we've got sin in our life, it's going to separate us from God's best. And also, it would be impossible to pray the prayer of faith if you've got sin in your life. You need to get rid of it. It says, if you abide in me, my words abide in you, you shall ask what you will, and it shall be done. If you be 